uh, swelling related to lymphedemia, uh, the cause of it, and the treatment modalities. Okay, well, the, I mean, there are a number of causes for lymphedemia. Obviously, it can happen post-surgery. There are some people who have metabolic disorders that can cause lymphedemia. Um, it can be present post-cancer, post especially if you've had some of the uh, lymph glands removed. That can cause lymphedemia. And it can also just be caused by progressive degenerative generation of the lymphatic system so damage to the lymphatic system which is the body's natural drainage system if you like and the side effects of that normally is swelling it's it's, it's something you'll, you'll see quite common post uh, breast cancer surgery when people have the the lymph nodes removed from their armpit from their axilla and that affects how the drainage the fluid drains from the arm and they'll often have then persistent lymphedema in the upper limb ongoing and the same can happen in the lower limb as well so that that's really the main reasons why lymphedema occurs. Yeah. Okay. And so let's let's talk about treatment modalities. Uh, from a treatment perspective, as as manual therapists, we we approach the problem from a from a lymphatic perspective. So we look at how people breathe, their diaphragmatic tension. We look at the drainage channels through the upper chest uh, and from the arm and through the front of the pelvis from the lower limb. Uh, we look at um, tissue health and, and joint movement and muscle contraction basically so it's a combination of manual therapy and, and exercise uh, and massage lymphatic massage obviously can be very effective uh, which is you know obviously we'll be talking about the systems that recovery systems uh, sell the intermittent compression can be I think a reasonable replacement for massage especially for lymphedema because this is an ongoing condition that needs uh, recurring treatment um, often daily uh, and, I, and I think something like intermittent com compression can provide that sort of ease of use on a daily basis. Paul, let's talk about frequency of use, because I'm sure there's no hard and fast rule of thumb. Would that be correct? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, from a research perspective, it's one of those things that's, that hasn't been investigated enough and there isn't enough evidence for. But generally with lymphedema, everything you can do to help the lymphatic system cope with, with the problem is yeah. going to be beneficial. So that that means, you know, Recurrent uh, treatments, you know, intermittent compression, you could probably do it at least a couple of times a day would be would be beneficial. Um, and that should be then coincided with movement and other types of um, movement therapy to try and help the body's uh, lymphatic system cope better and, and drain better. Um, but I would say probably the benefit, with a big benefit of intermittent compression compared to perhaps uh, going to see a lymphatic massage therapist is the ease of use that you can get. you can use it two to three times a day without any real um, inconvenience. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, Dr. Paul, it's great as always catching up with you and, and in this case talking about lymphedemia, swelling related to lymphedemia and the treatment. Yeah.